Hey guys, how's it going? Skagoni here, and as you guys can see, today we are reacting to Hand Plates Part 11, which is technically Season 2, Chapter, or eh, Episode 2. I don't know why I said Chapter, probably because of, well, yesterday's video. Uh, but regardless, uh, this is an Undertale comic dub, uh, posted by Starbot Dubs, of which I don't own... I don't claim any anything over this. This is just a reaction video. Uh, and with that being said, I hope to enjoy this, and let's begin. Come with me. I know the two of you have been experimenting with blue magic. Hmm. Blue? Yes, that is the color associated with the ability. It makes sense that you both would be able to use it. You inherited... Hmm. Inherited it from me. Since you're beginning to show Ooh, he let that out. It, okay. A lesson is in order. <laughs> I thought that he you, would say yeah. never mind. Blue magic allows a soul also, to be they were purple. by gravity. The source Their of eyes. the heavy feeling you no doubt experience every time I pick either of you up. Yes. Now, those truly adept at blue magic can take hold of the soul and move it as they please. Mm -hmm. With my expertise... I barely have to exert any effort at all to lift and move either of you. Okay. Now to the point. <laughs> Should Yikes. either of you ever even think of using blue magic on me for any reason? There, Ugh. Are there it is. Oh, stop! As you can see, at this level, uh, I do not uh, need to raise traps on the walls to inflict significant damage. Oh, please no. give me some credit. He's way too professional. I know exactly how much punishment he can take. Yep. And I know exactly how hard to make each strike right down to the number. Yep. Mm. He's in no danger of death. This is merely a demonstration. Of what will happen stop, stop, please, if you try to stop. use it Have I made on myself him. Clear? Yes, yes, just stop. Please stop. Please. Ugh. Did you hear that? Good GP. lord. I'll take I that as a yes. An example of him so Yikes. Easy. But you have the endurance to take his place should he misbehave. If 1S ever even considers using blue magic against me, I will hold you responsible. Okay. And I this can... is just a demonstration. Yep. I assure you, this could be much worse. Do you understand? He can't respond. Okay. And you, 1S? I guess he could have there. Yes. I understand. Just let him go, please. Mm. If the point has been made, then we are done for now. Here, heal him if you like. I'll fix whatever you can't. Ooh, okay. For your sake, I hope both of you keep this in mind. What about him? Hmm? What if he used blue magic on you? Hmm. Wouldn't the punishment be the same? We both know that's not going to happen. Because he doesn't... Essentially... He's not gutsy enough to... I'm gonna have to lower this in post production. Or, my bad, post recording, because I can't even hear myself right now. Oh, there we go. Now I can. People are getting very concerned. I know, and we're working on it. The surge is. Hey! 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 I need to talk to you! Oh, hello there. Is something on your mind? Your Majesty, I thought this meeting was approved for staff <laughs> only. Now, now, Gaster, I can always make time for a concerned citizen. Okay. What's on your mind, my friend? I want to talk about the core. Yes, the core. About people don't feel safe in there. We're always understaffed and people are worried about falling in. F falling in? Yeah, especially because the place is always shuffling around for no good reason. Mm. Excuse me, that feature keeps the entire construct in line with traditional puzzle principles. The only thing puzzling about it is why you eggheads can't even put some safety rails into your fancy designs. Like you know anything about proper design. Mm. Everyone calm down, please. You said you were understaffed? Yeah. 
We should be working in pairs so we'll know if something happens to someone. We need a buddy system, but there ain't any buddies to go around in there. Okay. Uh, are you sure? That's weird. I mean, you're right. That makes sense. But don't we always hire people in pairs? I thought we did. Yes, I'm sure. I'm almost sure. Almost? Go ahead and check. There ain't no pairs in there. You gotta do something. It's not safe. Has anyone working in this corner ever reported any accidents? Well, no, but it could happen. And if someone uh, fell in, they're not going to be able to report it, are they, smart guy? No, but we would have definitely heard from their families, or their friends, or their partners, or anyone else who cared about them. If someone fell into the core, we would know. But you wouldn't. Just because it ain't happened don't mean it won't happen. People could die in there. I'm not concerned about baseless hypotheticals. The benefits of the core far outweigh- Hypotheticals? Why you- All right, everyone, calm down, please. I understand. Thank you for coming to talk to me okay. about this. I will take your concerns very seriously. If that is all. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, I want to quick point out that, uh, I'm pretty sure, um, I'm pretty sure doesn't, if you fall into the core, you're essentially erased from existence, are you not? Isn't that how the core works? You just essentially cease to exist, therefore no one would know because no one would be there to know. The memories would be overwritten. Hmm. Tell me if I'm wrong about that. Yeah, I get the picture. Nobody cares about the little guys. Well, that was awkward. <laughs> Dr. Alphys, could you look into getting the core staff some more people? And Dr. Gaster, I'd appreciate it if you put in some safety rails, at least. <laughs> Fine. Okay. But honestly, I don't see the point. 7 a.m. Lights on. Everything in order. Forgot to shut the main computer down the previous night. No apparent damage. 7.15 a.m. Subject 2 is awake. Subject 1 is not. But their behavior indicates nothing is amiss. Breakfast and coffee. Okay. This headache won't go away. Uh. 8 a.m. Subjects are both awake and playing a bone tossing game. <laughs> one episode from 1S. Evidence points to an increasing trend following the incident. As predicted, 2P's episode rate remains stable. Okay. They are eating normally, despite shivering more than usual. Well, it's probably the fear. Fast forwarded through four hours of last week's surveillance video. Roughly 120 more hours to catch up to today. All right. Nothing of interest. Ran the magic peak check over unwatched footage. No results. Mm. Still have a headache. Okay. 11 a.m. Check up on 2P. He's healing very well. Quiet. Be quiet. Mm. He did not say anything. 11.30 a.m. Probably because you never gave him the Blue chance magic. to. The panic attacks when they are picked up are growing shorter. 2P is a worse than 1S's, as predicted. Continued mm. exposure should reduce the duration, though they are very obedient now to avoid being picked up. So it's not a priority. No threats or manufactured situation can get them to use the blue magic themselves. 2P bursts into hysterical tears. One Probably because they're too afraid to. Catatonic state. Yeah. Success. They're Both trying to prevent yeah. them from smoke break. Using it. 1237 PM. Call with Alphys to discuss core readings and development. Anomalous readings continue to plague me. Mm, all core right. is functioning, but it could be better. Must figure out improvements. 208 PM. Forgot to eat. Mm. Little progress. Fed subjects. Still eating normally. Okay. 3 p.m. Blaster tests. When the two of them hold <laughs> hands, 2P's magic output is greatly increased. Yes. 1S's damage output remains capped, however. No matter how 2P tries to assist, nothing seems capable of breaking 1S's limitations. Okay. It's like a black hole when it comes to magic. It'd be fascinating if it weren't so annoying. They ended up fighting when 1S tried to zap me, as predicted, and 2P interceded. 
I wasn't mm. in the mood to mediate, so I've separated them until they calm down. 4.05 p.m. Still have a headache. 4.15 p.m. Smoke break. Okay, you seem to be very... adequate about your breaks. 6.15 break. p.m. Progress made with DTEM IDF theory. Cooling conveyance nearly complete. Still can't figure out what's wrong with the core. My personal magic signature is still completely absent from both TML files. Mm. Can't track down the bug that's causing this. 6.20 p.m. Call from Asgore. Wants to meet to discuss safety rails. <laughs> Told him I was very busy, but he insisted. Need to get rid of the smoke smell. 7.45 p.m. Return from meeting slash dinner. Ran longer than anticipated. Mm. We'll have to move the laser session to tomorrow. Just remembered I left one and two separated this whole time. 8 p.m. Oh. Reunited subjects and fed them. Argument has been apparently forgotten. 9 p.m. Another two hours of footage fast forwarded. Nothing of note. This would be easier if I could work effectively while checking these, but they make it impossible to focus. 118 hours to go. Not counting today's. Subjects are currently mm. talking about their day. Prolonged separation prompted an extra episode from both of them. Not counting it towards their normal rate. Okay. 11 p.m. So Worst this is just... Headache. Smoke. 12 a.m. Little Gosh. warm. No progress. Can't think. He's Turned tired. off the lights to try and focus. One and two are curled up and talking about dreams. We'll have to cross-reference what they say with TML readings during their next session. Seems like he's becoming more and more exhausted. At least it seems that way to me. 2.06 a.m. Tired. Yep. Just tired. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. All he can come out with is that he's just tired. Which is understandable. Though I'm not entirely sure if it's too much different from what's been normally going on. Difficult to say. Regardless. This was a very intriguing and enlightening episode. Much more of that than last episode. To me, anyway. Maybe it was just before, but last episode I wasn't really able to focus on what was going on. Not entirely sure why. But regardless, here I was able to focus more. I can require... I, I can remember some pieces from last episode, but nothing that I can really put together. All I remember was that it was the only word that comes to me when I was thinking about last uh, last episode was uh, chaotic. But regardless, thank you guys so much for coming out to watch the video. You all have a fantastical day or night, whichever one it is for you guys. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.